Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the cryptocurrencies. So, uh, Bitcoin actually was most unlucky asset among the, all the others just because it is trading 24-7. If you take a look at other markets, the events of the weekend have made no, no, have made no impact. You can see no effect on the gold market, even on the crude oil. You can't see the effect on um, Forex, on the currencies, but you do see it on the Bitcoin. It's just because market has passed through the, all this stuff that we've got in uh, uh, Israel in recent two sessions, and it was trading through the, all these moments. And uh, of course, that setup that we have prepared on Thursday has been crushed. It's just because this is some force major event that uh, significantly has changed the background on the Bitcoin market. Now it is trying to return back, but uh, Currently, I'm not sure that it will be successful. Yes, we are coming to the halving um, this month, so it should happen very, very soon. So we will see whether it provides necessary support as everybody expects. <clears throat> but overall picture right now stands a bit bearish, I would say. Second moment, uh, speaking about recent events, personally, I have big doubts that uh, Netanyahu uh, will keep it as it stands. So, because currently, when this confrontation uh, easing with the Iran, he has no choice but return back to resolving inner Israel problem. Once again, he meets protests uh, inside of Israel uh, with the criticism of its uh, government, uh, because actually, he once again meeting the results of his military operation in Gaza, so they haven't released any hostages, or not all hostages. He has just attracted all anger that stands in the world right now, accusing them in uh, uh, some genocide in in Gaza. So, and uh, if he will lose the fall under impeachment, and his, he will lose the power. The tribunal war tribunal might be stand on the horizon that's why for the uh, Netanyahu this is uh, well the question of the surviving he needs this confrontation and that makes me a bit worried about the perspective so um, it's really big chances that something will be done uh, that could uh, return back the escalation that's what I'm worrying about Correspondingly, if you saw what reaction was on uh, Bitcoin in the weekend, you could imagine what will happen if escalation will be even greater. Uh, but for now, uh, on the monthly chart that you could see on the picture on, on the screen, we have nothing really new. April stands inside of the March, brings no changes to the picture. Target still stands around 85. Here's we have the same. On the weekly chart, two important moments last week almost has become reversal so if we would close slightly lower this will be a bearish reversal swing but still at the same time uh, drop was not really small so the actual downside action was also significant and in the peak it was well more than 10 percent on the bitcoin at the same time market was able to stay in this consolidation that we were considering uh, for a few weeks already you can see this uh, range has been formed and market stands here. This is positive sign and in general on a daily, on a month, oh sorry, on a weekly chart, market still keeps the bullish context. We have bullish trend, market stands in the tight range. Yes, recent performance was not really pleasant, but we do know that this was the first major circumstances. Uh, and even with this uh, circumstances, market was able to stay in the same range, it's above near 6026 support area. This is a good sign. Now let's go to the some uh, not so pleasant moments. 
first of all on the daily chart on the daily you probably remember our triangle consolidation that we were talking about we were trading this upper direction recently hoping that this will be the hand shoulders but hand shoulders has been crushed with these recent events and what we've got in result we have bearish trend on the daily yes it was nice retracement to the 55 59 60 area confidence support holds uh, but we've got bearish reversal swing to the downside you can see that this swing down is greater than, greater than the previous swing up or even this one it's uh, more significant and uh, it's it's still the question whether market will be able to overcome this recent pressure uh, whether it will be able to return at the cup and keep going higher to proceed the upper direction that's now is a major question that we have on the intraday chart by the way the peter schiff in his statement start talking about the possible triple two uh to triple top here on the bitcoin suggesting that it might be a significant drop we will see but for now um on the fall day frame chart what we have not really very good signs failed hand shoulders that we talked about uh, unfortunately by the reasons that uh, stand out of our control on the hourly chart upper direction that we see currently is not really very fast so it is going gradually but we do not have some something really straightforward upper acceleration something of this kind so it's more gradual and this now still remind kind of the gorgeous people to sell some retracement side direction so we have thrusting action and that's some kind of the uh, relief some pullback uh, speaking about the patterns uh, theoretically you could try to suggest that it might be hand shoulders with this left shoulder head right shoulder uh, but for now i wouldn't say that this really uh, obvious that it's definitely will happen personally i do not like this very slow upper direction and still we have the bearish context on the daily chart so currently we treat this action just as a retracement by all this stuff all these reasons personally in the current moment i do not want to take the long position what i would be watching for first of all on the weekly chart i would watch for a uh, grubber so you can see that this week market is uh, tra trading very close to the emacity predictor and if through the week we will get this retracement a bit deeper and market will test the emacity predictor will give us the bullish grubber that might be absolutely different background for taking the position with the grubber in place and market standing on the daily chart above the confluence uh, that might be absolutely a different and better bullish background that led us to consider taking the long position for now since we do not have the bullish pattern we have bearish trend on the daily chart and on the daily we also do not have any bullish patterns we have moderate upper direction on the hourly chart in the current moment i do not see good background for taking the new long position so i prefer to wait here if even hand shoulder starts forming here it's, it will be interesting to see what we have on the daily and on the weekly chart uh, before taking the position alternatively if we do not we will not get any grabbers on the weekly or something uh, we have to wait or market has to show some really bullish action so it has to prove us that it still has the power and then the bulls, bulls and traders are still here for example it might be in uh, some kind of the upper action back to the top for instance if market will return right back up to the top and will form larger scale hand or something i don't know maybe something of this kind it might be right so uh, in this case yes we also will be able to consider uh, market ability to keep going higher and we will keep keep an eye on this but it would be better to draw it in this way so uh, we'll, we could consider something uh, on the bullish side so if we start getting this passion in this case it also might be the solution but anyway before taking any long position we have to get corresponding background currently we do not have it we don't have any bullish context that's why in the current circumstances i prefer to wait and see what will happen